another book that I just finished was Wayne Dyer's book. I can see clearly now. And those of you who don't know, he's been like, he died recently, self-help guru. He talks about the fact that his father, he never met his father. Yeah. And that that was the core abandonment of his life. And that he spent all of his life hungering um, to meet the father, to get in touch with the father. And, you know, we could go on and on about black males and father abandonment. Both the present father who emotionally abandons you but the absent father who also d doesn't seek or desire to know you. I mean, I think we don't have enough memoirs by black men. I think there are so many stories black men have to tell us so much pain that black men haven't been able to speak, and especially this pain about the father. You know, I grew, was raised in a home with six sisters, um, wait, five sisters and my brother. And I was very close to my brother, and my father used to say, Glory, your brother ain't worth a nickel. And I used to think about him as he entered his adulthood, drug addiction, the whole works, what, what it must have been like for him to hear every day some completely disparaging yeah. statement about himself, yeah. that you're not worth a nickel. Yeah. And that sense, that internalization of um, lack of value. And that's what disturbs me. Like, I, I'm disturbed by the moniker Black Lives Matter because I think, well, who are we trying to convince? What, what black person doesn't believe that their life matters? I mean, what, what we know is it's the imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist patriarchy that doesn't value our lives. And doesn't seem to be, I don't care how much we march at Ferguson or March for Trayvon Martin, that system is no closer to valuing our lives than it was before these incidents. I was asking Kevin, Kevin, do you think that if we took away all the police brutality against black men, would black men be saved? Would black men be able to self-actualize? Is it really police brutality um, that is stealing the lives of black males? that moment of confronting the self, yeah. of having to look at your own actions, not blaming someone else, 